What up, Bucks fans? This is Michael Plus of Real Bucks Talk. Back with another video here as we get into our draft coverage. And we're going to start off with a very popular name uh, from the Georgia Bulldogs. And they have a bunch of prospects coming out in this year's draft uh, in 2023. Uh, but let's start with Nolan Smith. And this is a guy that, you know, as a Bucks channel here, we feel would be a very good fit in the Buccaneers defense, an edge rusher that could do both pass rush and also play in coverage as a drop uh, linebacker, uh, something that we've seen from Bucks linebackers during the past and Shaq Barrett and also JTS um, as well. But Nolan Smith, just a little background on him. Uh, he, you know, was the number one recruit out of high school in 2019 to the University of Georgia. And, you know, like most Georgia pass rushers and just like defense alignment, you know, Trayvon Walker, kind of the same thing. They didn't have, you know, much production from a sack standpoint or numbers. But you look at just the progression that Nolan Smith went on, um, obviously continued to get better um, as he got into, you know, his later seasons, especially in 2021 and then also in 2022. 2022 last year was shortened by an injury um, and he also missed time in 2021. So that is kind of like the knack on him. Can he stay healthy going forward? Uh, you know, that'll be something to watch, but got a lot of potential um, as a pass rusher, super athletic, really good against the run. Uh, and this is a guy who, you know, six, three, about 240 pounds uh, could add some more weight if he needed to. Um, but, you know, just has a great skill set to work with. And there's a lot of potential there. And from athleticism alone, he probably goes in the first round. I view him more as a second round, you know, day two type of guy. But he's just super talented. And obviously, um, he showed it at times, especially on tape uh, where the talent was there. And you could see um, him putting everything together. Now it's just about you know, maximizing that plan, maximizing the pass rush plan where he can be more consistent down to down, but, you know, really good. And, you know, look at him here, you know, some measurables, uh, again, six, three, you know, around two forty. Now I'm not sure if this is like accurate measurables, but this is just, you know, reports, uh, 10 inch hands, you know, good arm length, about 33 inches, uh, good wingspan. So, yeah, I mean, and they project him as second round uh, as well. And that's kind of where I see him just based on tape. But yeah, I mean, just really, really prolific prospect. And the best thing about him is he is a great person, a uh, leader at Georgia on that defense, a long bunch of talented guys, you know, obviously Jalen Carter and, you know, other guys that we'll probably talk about on here. But, you know, Nolan Smith just is a, is someone that stood out to me personally when watching edge rushers and obviously, you know, the Bucks they need more pass rush. This guy would make a lot of sense. I'm not sure if we take him at 19, but, you know, especially if he's there at 50 in the second round, definitely a guy to look at. Um, and if your team, if you're not a Bucks fan and your team is looking for pass rushers, you know, Nolan Smith can't. He wouldn't be a bad option to add, and he is really good against the run already. He knows how to play that very stoutly, um, and he can, you know, obviously add potential to your pass rush and do different things, whether it's at linebacker or playing the edge uh, position. Um, you know, PFF wrote very highly of him as well. Um, you know, he got graded pretty highly. They think he's going to be – a first round pick, but you see like the pressures, I mean, 17 total pressures. Uh, I think that was last year. Um, in 2021, he did really well as well. Um, and again, his grades were a lot better over the last two seasons, according to PFF. Um, but let's see what he does on the tape. And with that said, guys, let's switch it over and we'll get started. All right, guys, let's get into the tape here of Nolan Smith out of the University of Georgia. You're going to see him lined up here against the right tackle. He's on the it's almost like a wide nine kind of stance, but he's out here on the edge uh, and he's just going to do a great job of really using his hands. You're going to see good handwork and also leverage, and he's just going to be able to overpower the right tackle, but then watch the change of direction. But 
let the play run here. And you see there just good hand battle. Um, and he just pushes up the arms of the right tackle and really gets the inside uh, leverage there. But look at his feet being able to maintain balance. Look at that drive forward. And he just overpowers the right tackle because he sees his quarterback moving up in the pocket. So ability to stop right there on a dime and then get upfield and make the play. Really good stuff there. You like to see it. And then here, highlighted uh, on the outside again, he's going to loop inside this time and get a qu quarterback hit and obviously affect the play. Let it run there. Again, just good speed. Gets his hands up, tackles the quarterback, incomplete pass. Here, I really like this because he's really attacking the left tackle. He's attacking a part of him. He's attacking the outside shoulder. Does a good job with the hands here. Good footwork. And watch the bend. Again, nice little bend there. A little late. I mean, you like to see him bend, you know, get a little quicker there. But does a good job of winning and forcing that quarterback to get rid of the football quicker than he wants to. And it ends up being incomplete because of it. And then here, again, same matchup. But this time he goes with power. So he shows good promise as speed to power candidate. And here he really gets into the chest of the, the offensive tackle and just rides him back, puts him on skates, and again, affects the quarterback's throw, even though it's completed. So shows a little variety there. And then here, same thing. Shows a little bit of a fake inside trying to go back outside. Um, let's rewind it a little bit here. But you see him fake that inside step and looks like he's trying to win inside but realizes he's not going to get there. So he just does a good job of resetting and re-anchoring and power through and affects the play ends up being an interception. So really good job there. And then here I like the understanding. So there's good awareness. He understood that he couldn't win off the edge, sees the quarterback is taking off and does a great job of getting down the line and making a play, forcing a potential fumble. And then here I like this. Because he's going after the running back and he gets that inside penetration. But he maintains his balance to stay with the play. And look at that turn and still ends up getting, you know, in on the sack. And then same thing here. Again, good penetration inside, winning off the snap quickly. Just shows his athleticism. And again, same thing here, reading the, the quarterback option. Comes down, makes the play. Um, and then here on the stunt, you see the burst and the speed almost makes the play there. Pissed that he didn't make it. Uh, and then now in pass coverage, just showing some versatility. Again, staying with your, your guy there. Um, same thing, read and react, understand where the play goes. So really nice stuff from Nolan Smith. Um, you know, I think he's got a really good chance uh, to be, you know, a prospect that could really flourish into a really good pass rusher at the next level. But guys, let us know what you think. Hit that like button, comment down below what, what your opinions are of Nolan Smith out of Georgia, the edge rusher linebacker. Do you think, uh, you know, could he be a fit with the Buccaneers or do you see him a better fit somewhere else? Uh, let us know down below. And with that said, until the next one.